global players in here, multi-site, multi-region, yeah, pretty much everybody. You go to a different geography and you find a different type of technology on the desk. And there are a number of um, issues around that. Obviously, I came across a large organisation the other week who described actually the, the footprint and it was Alcatel in Siemens provided by France Telecom, sorry, Alcatel in France provided by um, France Telecom and the budget was held by facilities in the building. So it wasn't, there wasn't a comms budget or anything, it was facilities always ran the phone systems in France. Germany, it was Siemens and um, it was actually HR that had the budget in um, in Germany, which was which was unusual, and so on. You go around the globe, you find different technologies, and just the, the pure um, the logistical nightmare of managing that, the, the overhead in procurement, the um, supplier management, every single service connected to a different service provider locally. This is a huge challenge for our um, for our customers. So they told me, and a quote from um, one one CIO of a of a big chemical com company said to me. Give me global standards. I don't care if it's a lower level at this point. I just want a consistent global experience. So we set off on it with a partnership between us and Cisco, which is sort of unprecedented in, in BT, and I think it was unprecedented in Cisco as well. Um, this is a joint venture between us and Cisco, providing the hosted solution. If one of um, one of our salespeople came came to see you, and one of the Cisco guys came to see you, they would be selling the same service. Okay, so this is, this is how we've, we've built um, this hosted communications service. It's focused very much on hitting the consistent voice experience across the globe. So providing a hosted voice service with a telephone handset on, on the desk, a, um, a voicemail service and a self-service portal. So nice and basic, nice and simple, OPEX-based pricing, so it's, um, you know, there's no upfront payment but, uh, initially. It's a nice per seat per month um, offering and it's uh, available pretty much globally. Some, most of it today, but, but moving into 11, 12, we'll be launching the rest of it. I think I've probably <coughs> just done the, the next two slides. I'll move on quickly, I'm, I'm good at that. Um, that's the thing that we, that we launched first, okay, to hit the, the biggest problem, which is, is the voice. The, obviously the full migration, the stack, looking at the bottom here, going straight to the bottom bullet point, there's a full roadmap to unify communications as and ready, um, as and when the organization's ready for it. So starting at the top, it's voice as a service. So it's literally consumed from, from the cloud. And you know the, the POPs um, and the equipment were bought, built jointly by, by Cisco and BT. So it was a, a key, key investment for both of us. The utility-based pricing per seat per month, so predictable, very key. Um, one supplier, one help desk, and one bill. The key thing that we're trying to achieve here is a consistent Cisco endpoint. And coming back to the Siemens and the Alcatels and the whatevers all around the world, if you, any of you travel globally, the first thing that happens when you get to an office, you find an alien piece of telephony. Okay, it happened to me, the best example for me was South Africa. I landed in South Africa, went into the office, didn't really know anybody in the office, there was no one really to ask. I went all the way through, Everyone knows it's, it's six for an outside line in South Africa. Did it? Did you all know that? You know, no. I can't. And in and in Germany, you hit you know you hit um, the outside line, and it sounds like NU. Anyone from Germany here? Apologies. <laughs> Dalton sounds like NU. No, you know, number unattainable. So everywhere you go in the world, you've got these nuances. If you get a consistent end end experience, one, you take your profile with you when you go. That's absolutely fundamental. You know what you're using because that South Africa experience for me meant that when I went to join the um, conference call for an hour, which is inevitable whenever you land anywhere, first thing you gotta do is jump on a conference call. I had to do that on my mobile, okay? And every single month, when I go over 100 pounds of mobile spend, does anyone think that's a lot? No? Do I come cheap? I think so. 100 is my limit. I get an email saying, can you justify please why you're, I say, I'm the UCC bloke, I've been doing UC demos. Well, never cuts it really, I still get the email. But there's governance now on people, how they look at their, um, their personal expenditure, how much they spend on their, their phone bills. So the consistent experience makes it easy for people. It makes people more likely to use the technology that's there, that's fixed, that's hooked up to the corporate backbone, that's gonna deliver the best telephony experience at the best cost for the organization. Down here, 
The hosted service means you can you can take this on. The 